We're going to start with this, and bear with me, anybody can make these, but we're going to start this um, with my death by chocolate cupcake recipe. You could certainly do any flavor of cupcake for these um, flower pots that we're going to show you how to make, but these are really chocolatey, moist, and delicious, and I'm a huge fan of chocolate. So I love starting with just a box cake mix. And then I love jazzing it up. So don't follow the recipe on the box, uh, the back of the box. Follow my recipe if you want to make these super fudgy, moist, rich Death by Chocolate cupcakes. So it starts with one Devil's Food cake mix. Now a lot of cake mixes these days say they have pudding in the mix, but we're going to add some extra pudding. So you you may have seen them on their show and um, heard me raving about them. Uh, there's a great business in the Green Bay and Appleton area, um, it's actually in Greenville or in the Green Bay area, called the Bulk Price Food Shop. And it's, if you're looking to you know, save a little money, this place is fantastic. So they sell all sorts of things, like thousands of things, by bulk. So um, when they do that, they get it in big containers and then they repackage it in baggies and other types of you know, containers. And you can save a ton of dough, plus you'll have it on hand. So if you don't have a box pudding mix on hand, you can actually buy, get this, chocolate pudding bulk. Um, so basically we're going to take a little of this instant, and we want to use instant chocolate pudding, about a half cup of this instant chocolate pudding mix, and add it to our cake mix, and it's going to make it really dense and moist and yummy. And then just, you know, seal it up. And they sell everything from brown sugar to oatmeal to um, it. Uh, I, espresso powder for, you know, I can just go on and on. The list goes on and on. Rice and, and, and quinoa and couscous, um, hundreds of things, thousands of things. And it's just a, really a, a kind of a neat way to buy things. Spices for sure, they have a lot of spices. So in goes um, our box cake mix, our instant chocolate pudding mix, three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil, water, half of a cup of water, one cup of sour cream, and this is, like I say, going to make these really moist and fudgy. And most cake box recipes call for three cupcakes. We're going to do four. Three eggs, I mean. So four eggs instead of the three eggs. Okay, now we're just going to beat this up. Speaking of Mother's Day, they've got all sorts of fun things going on at Cook's Corner on Saturday. I'm going to be out there from 11 to 12 doing a book signing, so stop on by and say hi. That's this Saturday. So I'm going to get this mixing. And you can tell how fudgy this batter is. Cupcakes tend to get a little dry sometimes, and that's why I love this recipe because these will not be dry, for sure. And just use your electric mixer and mix it until it's all combined. All right, and got some beaters for you to lick. Don't say I never gave you anything. And I love using a scoop, one of these portion control scoops, which you can, they have them at Cook's Corner and other places, um, but they're really nice if you're making cookies or cupcakes. You can get them at all different sizes because no dripping. It gets right in there and it works wonderfully. This is going to make about 24 of these cutest ever flower pot cupcakes. Or you could do like the Texas size, and then you're going to get 10 to 12. Okay, so you bake those cupcakes, normal bake time for those. I bake them at 325, 350, depending on your oven. Um, and I usually let those bake between 18 and 20 minutes doing the old toothpick test. That's really important. So here are our cupcakes. Cute as can be. Well, they're not all that cute now, but we're going to make them cute. But they're really dense and chocolatey is what I want to say. All right, so now I'm going to make a quick ganache. 
Ganache is just um, a, it's a very simple thing to make, um, but it's a, a fun way to frost cupcakes because we don't have to frost them. We're actually going to dip them. So I'm just heating some heavy cream. And I'm going to let that heat for a minute, and then I'm going to put in some semi-sweet chocolate chips. Okay, so we're going to drop these cupcakes into little flower pots, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But we need to have some dirt on top of our flower pots. So guess what? The dirt is going to be Oreo cookies. So you could get out the old meat mallet and put the, the cookies in a bag and let the kids go at it. And that's a really fun way to get the kids excited about getting in the kitchen. Um, I, you know, I just recently was in Plymouth. I go out to a lot of schools teaching cooking classes, so I was teaching the kids how to cook, and I, I think it's so important to get those kids into the kitchen to help. Um, it teaches them to cut and measure, and if you don't teach them to cook these days, a lot of those home ec programs are non-existent. They're not going to learn how to cook, so I love to get kids in there, and I did with my kids when they were really, really little. Um, I have a picture of, in one of my cookbooks of the kids when they, Ireland could barely walk, and she was up, you know, and Riley on a stool, and they were helping me make a cake or something. So help them, get them in there to help with desserts, and the next thing you know, you'll be making breakfast, and they'll hopefully want to help you scrambled eggs, and the next thing you know, the hope is that one day they'll be making dinner for you. So I, I love to get them in there, um, and the boys too, for sure. Guys make great cooks, and, you know, get them to pound at it. You can also do this in the food processor if you want to shorten this and make it a little quicker. So we're just using Oreos, and I get questions all the time. Do you have to unscrew the Oreos and do the frosting? No, you don't. Um, you just are going to crush these up with the, the filling and all. So at home, you're going to do the whole package. And this will crush up these cookies in no time if you have a food processor. And you want them pretty fine. There's always a couple cookies in there who just don't want to get crushed up. That's okay. We'll give that cookie to Ann. All right. See, I'm giving you all sorts of gifts today, Ann. Okay, so I'm heating my heavy cream and in go my chocolate chips. And once the chocolate chips hit the heavy cream, they're going to melt very, very quickly. And this is what ganache is. It's this really fancy word, but it's just a mixture of heavy cream and chocolate chips. And what happens is when it hardens, it's going to make a nice, pretty, you know, get just hardened right on that cupcake. Okay, so done. Real simple to do that. And I'm going to put this in a little bowl so it'll cool just a little bit. It smells heavenly. You can actually take that and cool it if you want. And... Uh, then beat it up with a mixer so you can refrigerate it and it makes a really nice, more of a, um, a fluffy frosting. But we want it to be just like this. Okay, so this is where it's going to get a little bit messy. And yes, when the kids get in the kitchen, it does get a little bit messy, but I always say that's what your vacuum and dog is for. Um, so things are going to drop on the floor a little bit, although you should keep the dog away from chocolate. Um, but anyway, I'll never forget when Levi, oh my gosh, my dog Levi, who is no longer with us, we made a whole bunch of cupcakes, and he never, ever, ever uh, would, you know, take food from the counter. He never would do that. So we, uh, we made a whole bunch of cupcakes, which Ireland needed the next day for class, and we came in, we had to go somewhere that night, and we came in, and I don't know what got into him. I have no idea. Two dozen cupcakes he ate with the wrapper. With the wrapper. And you know what? We thought, oh my gosh, he's going to be so sick. No, he was fine. And he never did it again. I'm not sure what the deal was. He's, he never did it again. It was something like, hmm, I think those cupcakes look good, and I think I'm going to help my help. <laughs> and just said, are you sure it wasn't Riley? I don't think he, Riley would eat all the cupcakes and the wrapper. But anyway, so at this point, we're going to just dip these. And that's why I love this ganache, is because you don't have to sit there and spread them. But it's, and it tastes great, by the way. I mean, it's just melted chocolate chips. 
and heavy cream. So we're just going to dip. This is a real easy way, even if you aren't doing these flower pot cupcakes, it's just a great technique for frosting cupcakes. I'm not a huge fan of frosting cupcakes. It's kind of a pain. Just being honest, keeping it real. So this makes it super easy. No matter what cupcake, you know, if you're doing yellow or white cupcakes, it all works good too. And then you can decorate the top with sprinkles. You're also going to get a really nice flat surface, as you see. Okay, time to start decorating these babies. So we're going to drop these cupcakes into these little flower pots. So cute. And we're going to do the Oreos. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this so that Anne doesn't get really mad at me for making a total mess. So I'm just going to sprinkle on top. And this is why I have the cookie sheet. Abby suggested, yeah, I could put these Oreos on a plate and just dunk them that way. Abby, my producer, who's getting ready for baby number two. Oh my gosh, I am busy making these cupcakes. A couple of uh, things I wanted to mention. Book club is actually next week. So go get the book today or this weekend and please join us. It's not too late to join in on the fun. Um, it's going to be a blast. The book we're reading is called Girl in Translation. It's a very quick, really nice, inspirational book. I think you'll really enjoy it. I learned a lot when I was reading it, too. Um, so go get the book, read along with us, and join us at the Bottle Room next Tuesday, 530. They're going to provide some great appetizers. All we need to do is show up and buy a beverage or something and uh, have a great conversation. So it's going to be a ton of fun. Speaking of fun, if you have, don't know what to get mom for Mother's Day, how about telling her that she is going for a big night out. Our big night out coming up at Gather Americana in Appleton, a five course meal paired with wines. It is gonna be a spectacular evening, all at a great price, $50. Um, and that includes your food and, and your wine, a really lovely evening. Uh, this one's gonna book up quickly. So again, go to our website and Make your reservation now. You can also see the whole menu. It's, it's a halibut and steak. It's going to be fantastic. Five different courses. OK, let's put these babies together. So, so cute. So at this point, you just drop the cupcakes. And I picked up these little flower pots very inexpensively. I think they were like 69 cents a piece. And the cupcakes fit perfectly right in there. Or you can get the bigger flower pots, like I say, and do bake up Texas cupcakes. So in goes our cupcakes. And then I picked up these little lollipops. Ones with a stick or the string actually work great too. And these are going to be our flower. Told you we we're pretty excited and getting a little creative today. So we're going to drop those in there. And they look really cute as is, but every flower needs a couple of leaves, right? So we've got these spearmint gumdrops. And you can just kind of take one leaf or two leaf and pop those in there. How cute are these? Super cute. Oh, did our leaf fall out? Well, you'll stick it in there a little bit better. There we go. And then when you're all done, you're going to give this to mom, and she is going to go crazy of it over it. Or it's great for a birthday party, uh, great for a garden party or book club. They're really, really fun and super cute. Aren't they adorable? Little flower pot cupcakes. A little bit messy to make, I admit it. So we'll clean this up and keep on going. Um, but just a fun idea for spring. Recipes on our website. Coming up, some more creative ideas. The prettiest ever fruit kebabs and some fun gift ideas for mom too. Plus, we're going to get organized. So stay with us. We'll be back.